Hello and welcome back, everyone, and happy birthday, Willpower. Um, well, I mean, I'm really hoping that you're enjoying today's birthday. I mean, immediately by the time I post this, it will actually be tomorrow for you, but that you get to celebrate it with loved ones and all the ones that you care about in a beautiful setting, hopefully it's not dissimilar to this one, with nice garden party, sunny outside, buntings, balloons, the usual. Thank you so much for all of your phenomenal puzzles as well. So, uh, let's go and celebrate this birthday with your puzzle. And uh, you do have a bit of a twist. I read through the rules and uh, we're not going to actually know what is your age until we actually solve this puzzle. Uh, it does look like it's going to be relatively straightforward. So I imagine that we are able to, uh, sorry, I'm not going to do it because it's not even 6 a.m. here, but we should be able to enjoy this with a drink and uh, celebrate it properly with you. Anyway, let's take a look at today's rule set and puzzles with Happy Birthday Willpower by Willpower. And let me just check. Everything is recording. Yes, it is. Birthday's coming up on the 7th of June. That's tomorrow. Complete this puzzle and multiply all the digits in red cells to get my age. Normal Sudoku rules. Kropke pairs. Maximus. So numbers in grey cells are greater than all the orthogonally adjacent cells. Uh, I imagine that all of you almost know what all of that means and you know what to do link it in the description down below for you to figure out will's age and uh, please do leave a comment either here or on logic masters germany i'll leave a link to both uh, to wish will a happy birthday uh, rules wise just in case you're not familiar with all of them normal sudoku place the digits one to nine once each in every row every column of course every three by three box so nothing unusual here crop key pairs we've got both black white dot and no negative constraint uh, let's have a look here. If this cell, for example, was a 2, no, I mean, the ones are given everywhere, so my usual example is not necessarily great. Um, with a black crop key dot, you essentially have to have digits that are in a 2 to 1 ratio. One cell is double the other. So that could be 1, that could be 4, it's not 1. Um, and then, of course, you need to have a white crop key dot here that would actually tell us that the digits that are consecutive. So if it happens to be a 4, this would have to be 3 or 5 so that it is indeed consecutive with the 4. No negative constraints means that a 1, a 2 here, where they are clearly in a 2 to 1 ratio or consecutive, no white dot, no black dot, not a problem. And then last but not least, we have the Maximus rules. Numbers in gray cells are greater than all of the orthogonally adjacent cells. Fairly easy with a 1 that's just right next to it. As always, to play along, links in the description down below, including kind of the opportunity to leave comments. Um, and with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Now, with all the ones given, we should be able to fly through this. One goes to two, goes to four, goes to three, goes to six, goes to five or seven. Yep. One goes to two, two, four. Can't be two, four or eight anymore. This is three or six. One goes to two, two again, two, four. Again, we're back to three, six, six, three. And essentially one of these was going to be two, four, or eight with a definite four. And one of them is going to be three or six. No fours on this one. So this is the three, six. This is the two, four, or eight, except no two in the column. So this is just four, eight. No two in any of these. That's the two. Quite likely it's two, three, six, but let's not make that assumption. We do have three sixes, three sixes. Where is the three sixes? Well, not here either. That's just Sudoku. So three, six. And if you remember, I said the remaining ones would be from 2, 4, or 8. This is not a 2, but there has to be a definite 4. Interesting. What else? I mean, that's a ton of options in terms of pencil marks. So, I mean, if it's 3, it's 2. If it's 6, it's 5 or 7. I say a ton. I mean more than we've had to use in this. Uh, actually, the two, of course, is not one. This is three. This is six. This is another five or seven. This needs to be smaller than six, which with one, two, and three placed in the box, this is four or five only. I think I've gone through and used almost all the black crop key dots. Uh, this can't be a three, because this is not two or four. Fours are taken. Twos are taken, so that's six. That's, oh, come on. There you go. 
This is another five or seven. And if this is three, well, this is not two or four. So that's six, that's three. That has to be a two now. That is not two. This is another five or seven. We're going to have a lot of these five or sevens, it seems. I wonder if we can actually color it as well. Wait, a festive way. Uh, Sudoku, let's do some of that. So ones were, we were given nine ones. Yes. Twos, we're very nearly there. We may as well. Yeah, two, three. I've broken the puzzle already. How did I manage that? Seriously? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> One moment. I think I was just rushing it and then... What? Come on. No, I don't think so. I'm, like, I'm just double checking that the rules don't have some kind of trickery. One goes to two, goes to three, goes to six. Yep. Yeah. One goes to two, four. I'm just going to just double check everything quickly. One goes to two. Yep. Yeah. One goes to two, four. Yes, it couldn't have been four, eight. So it's definitely three, six. One, two, four, three, six. One, two, three, six. Yep. Yeah, I'm happy with all of these. I mean, it could be something silly that I've done here. So, I mean, this was potentially a three. Let's have a think. What could it have been? Why did I place this two here? Right, so I'm just going to undo this last bit for a second. There you go. <coughs> with the one gone, it could have only been from two, four, and eight. And with this four in here, which is definitely here, this was not four or eight or two or four for that matter. So it could have only been three or six. So I'm happy with that deduction. The one, two, four, force the three, six, the three, six direction, force this direction. Yeah, I'm comfortable with all of that. Meaning this cell is not two or four, can't be three. Still happy with this. Three here, can't be reaching out to a four. So it had to be a two. Then we're back to broken. No, we're not back to broken because the two, I just can't see, could have been here. Sorry. Right. Uh, two is in one of two in here as well. If this is two, it would have to be three, which is why it, we broke it last time. So that is the two. That can't be a one. That's three. That's four. That is not a two. That is a two. That is a four. Lovely. So everything else was fine. I just couldn't see. One, two, three. I need four. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, yeah. That's just a typo. Sorry. For a second, I was thinking I broke it again because I couldn't place the four anywhere. Hmm. <coughs> How am I making a very approachable puzzle look so extraordinarily difficult? I think it's, I have a talent for it sometimes another five seven nine this has to be an even digit it's not two four or six it's an eight this is not a five these are again five seven nines that's another five seven nine there's a fourth five seven nine sorry a third excuse me with an eight somewhere this six is five or seven of course so really, have I, I think I've got almost, right. Sudoku's going to say, place a three in here. Sudoku's going to say, there's a four in one of these two cells. Three is one of these two. So either this is a four, eight in this direction, or it's a three, six in this direction. Both work right now. The six, of course, gave me the three and the six. The six is now definitely forced in here with these two. So that is definitely six, three. I'm just going to focus on the one, two, three, four, six, because we've got them in the majority of places. So that's the only place for a four in this box. It means there is a four in here. And because it's not with a three, this is definitely a four, five. This is four, that's five, that's six. Looks incredibly doable. Six is in fact definitely on here, just with Sudoku. 
six is definitely on here as well, again with Sudoku. So what do I have in here that's going on? Five, six, seven, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means that the eight is definitely in here. And this is a seven or nine. The five means we're done with five, seven, nines, and this is another eight. Now we're back with five, seven, nine. With a definite five in here, it means five is definitely one of these two cells. I should probably use these, <coughs> excuse me, white crop dots a bit more. Let me just double check. How are we doing with sixes? Other than these X wings, kind of done. The fours, again, other than these X wings, kind of done. Can't have four because that would be five and then it will break the cell. So that's not the four, that is the four, that's the five, that's the four, that is not a five, neither is this one, that's a six, seven pair, that is not a seven. This is another eight, nine, therefore this is seven, eight, nine. There's a definite eight in here in this column. <clears throat> and then there's a definite five in here somewhere. So what is this cell? I mean, it, by the looks of things, there's an eight, nine pair in here. Just think about the white crop kit odds. One of these contains a nine. So it's either a nine, an eight, a seven, which it isn't, or it's an eight, nine pair here, which it is. And therefore this is five, six, seven. The six has to be in the middle. And therefore this is the seven, this is the five. That's not the six, that is the six. This is not a five, that's the seven. And this is another eight, nine, just to complete the row. Then we've got eight, nine again. Then in here, I need five, eight, nine. Can't place them for some reason. It's fine. <clears throat> definite seven, definite eight, nine. Not much more I can see right now. These haven't been particularly useful. Use that. Just checking variants for a second for anything that's obvious that I've missed, but I'm not sure there are. It's down here, another seven, nine, and an eight. Okay. No eight is an eight. Take that. Five, seven, nine, I guess, in the remainder. This is seven or nine. This would be five, seven, or nine. I don't think it can be a five because one, two, three, four are all gone. So five is out of the question. It gives me a seven, nine pair. That's a five. That's not a five. I really do know how to type. Just, again, I'm not necessarily demonstrating it. No eight in here. That is an eight. That's not an eight. That's an eight. And then I think we're just left with five, seven, nines. Now this cell has to be bigger than whatever this is, which is five or seven. Five, seven pair. That tells me that's nine. Seven, nine. Nope. There's a definite nine in here. Five, seven, nine again. What am I missing? I just, I'm not seeing. No eight. Definite eight. How about that? No eight again, five, nine pair gives me seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Five, nine. This is not a seven, five, nine again. Seven, nine. Not a seven again, not a seven again, is a seven, not a seven. So in here it's five, seven, nine. I am gonna pencil mark. This is again a five, seven, it's not nine. So that has to be the nine. That is the five, nine, five. Not five or nine, that's seven. Okay, I think we've got it from here. Although I really did make it look far harder than it really was.
What? Come again. Can't be that we have two solutions. <clears throat> I must have made it. Oh, yeah, of course. It's a uh, maximus, so that can't be seven. That's five. That's seven. That's five. That's seven. Lovely puzzle, willpower. And it's a happy 10, 50th. No, 60th. Because I'm multiplying. Five and two is 10, 30, 60. I wouldn't have guessed. Happy 60th birthday, willpower. Many, many happy returns. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the puzzle. Uh, do you wish Will happy birthday? Sorry, I kind of botched up the solve. I'll see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.